Hey everyone, Tabitha here and welcome back to the DMU YouTube channel. Today's video is all about reducing stress because this week is International Stress Awareness Week. So I'm going to try my best to give you some tips and tricks on how to reduce your stress levels, chill out, relax, have a nice time. You know how it is. I've got about five or six tips that I'm going to share with you. So that's enough of my waffling and... Let me tell them to you. My first tip is make sure that you divide your time each day. So give yourself a set amount of time to do work, whether that is uni work or paid work, if you have a job. And then also give yourself some time where you can do whatever you want, some free time. In this free time, try your hardest not to think about work and uni. I know it's difficult. I'm not very good at this myself, but for example, I know that I like to work in the mornings right through to the afternoon and then around five or six o'clock I stop and give myself the evening to just do whatever I want. And then I don't let myself feel guilty for having the evening off knowing that I've worked during the day. Knowing that I have this schedule as such just puts my mind at rest. I can feel productive and then I can have some me time. The next tip is something that you might find quite difficult to do and I know I struggle with this myself. Try and take some time away from technology. Being a uni student, you might find that pretty much everything you do involves staring at a screen, writing essays, analyzing data, even going to lectures, you're obviously looking at the lecture slides and it can be really like tiring for your eyes. So when I do give myself this free time, I try as hard as I can to do something that doesn't involve technology. I feel like being away from technology is a lot better for your mind. It lets you relax and there are so many things you can do that don't involve technology, which I will get into later. Next up is a tip that I feel is so important and I know it's getting colder now so it's not as easy to do that, but try and go outside. Getting fresh air is so good for you. I feel like getting some fresh air outside is a really good way of reducing stress. Try and go for a walk. When you live in the countryside, this is really easy to find somewhere that's not like a built up area. But when you're living in a city, there's lots of people, lots of buildings, traffic, and it can be difficult to find somewhere that is more secluded. Whether it's for 10 minutes a day, it can really make a difference. Another way in which I try and reduce my own stress levels is through exercise. Now obviously you can tailor this to your own preferences. You can play football, you can play netball, you can go swimming. My favourite form of exercise I have found recently is yoga because it really focuses on listening to your body. It is so relaxing and you can do it anywhere. So if you don't have a class to go to, you could just do it in your room on your own. It doesn't necessarily require a lot of space. You could even do it outside if the weather's nice. I just find it a fantastic way of shaking off your day and having the rest of the evening to do whatever you like. Next up is something that I probably do a little bit too often and that is have a pamper evening. So if you've got a bath, run a bath, light some candles, put some music on, you can read your favourite magazine or book, you can put a face mask on, you can paint your nails, just look after your mind and your body. It's a lot of fun as well. I feel like at the end of the day or at the end of the week, if you've got more control than me, you probably want to treat yourself to just an evening of looking after yourself. I love a pamper evening. I bet you do as well, don't deny it. Next up is something a bit more inclusive. So surround yourself with your friends. I think surrounding yourself with people that make you laugh people that make you happy, people that you can share things with and talk to and get advice from. It is so nice to just have a good group of friends that will go out for dinner with you, go for drinks, even just come round to your flat and have a chat. I do this all the time with various friends and friends are a massive support system to me and to most people and I know that they help pretty much everyone. So that was my last tip on how to deal with stress and how to be more relaxed. I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed it. I will be back very soon with another video, I'm sure. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.